In this video, we're going to change the rear differential gear oil on an Infiniti QX80. This one happens to be a 2016. Okay, and so to change the rear differential oil, uh, of course, you're going to need to have two quarts of gear lube, right? So the specs calling out 7590 uh, synthetic gear oil. Uh, let's see, here's the spec I printed. And it says uh, the differential oil there, bottom one there for the rear, right? Three and three quarter pints. There's two pints to the quart. So two quarts uh, is what you need uh, to have on hand. And there's what it says it needs to be, the API GL5 Synthetic Gear Oil uh, 75W90. And so that's what we've got. And uh, this stuff I've used before is pretty great. It's in these bags. So actually, you can stick it in there and then you just keep squeezing the bag. And, um, and you don't need to pump it in. So that's pretty handy. So here's your rear differential in the QX80. And uh, this bottom plug... Uh, and you take that out, it takes a uh, 10 millimeter, um, like an Allen hex socket uh, that you'll put in there and break that loose. I, I had to really smack the ratchet uh, with my hand to get it to break loose. It was on there pretty good. Um, and as you see, it's got a magnet on there that will collect uh, metal filings, whatnot. And so um, you need to make sure you clean that off real good. And then... Um, and let that fluid then drain out into your pan and this of course is the fill uh, nut that is at the top of the hole and so it's got my socket on there still and so it's a 10 millimeter hex socket and so once you just pull those drains out that way you can let it drip until it's done then I'll be able to put the bottom obviously back in and fill through and fill it put the bottom back in then fill through the top with uh, this gear oil, so that's what you need. Um, it's, it's probably a good idea to replace these little washer gaskets that are here. Um, each one of them has it. I didn't happen to realize that before I started the job, so I'm gonna just reuse mine. But on my, um, on my truck, it actually specs out to have thread sealant. And so since I have some left over from doing the same type of job on my pickup truck, I'm just going to use a little thread sealant on there, and I'm sure we'll be okay. So that's all there is to do this job. Hope this uh, helps. Oh, when I put these back in, I'm going to want to tighten them down. You know, good and snug is is probably okay. Uh, I found a spec online that says 25 foot-pounds is the spec. That seems consistent with what I think the spec was on my pickup truck. Similar kind of deal, different, different make, but similar. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a torque wrench and put them on there at 25 foot-pounds, and, and that should be fine. Okay, 